Michigan is setting new goals to go green in the coming decades. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signing into law Democratic-backed bills in Detroit this afternoon. Our political reporter, Rachel Louise Just, brings us the story from Detroit. Michigan is seeing green as Democrats in charge establish major goals that put the Great Lakes state ahead of others in clean energy goals. Our 100% clean energy standard will make Michigan a national leader, top five nationwide and number one in the Midwest. Some of the goals include 50% renewable energy by 2030 and 100% clean energy by 2040. We already knew we were the best. It's about time the rest of them figure it out. Let's make it official. I would say the goals are very ambitious, uh, but I think that's part of the strategy is to set very ambitious goals and hope for the best. Doug Bissett focuses on clean energy and the energy transition at Michigan State. He says he believes Michigan can reach these goals, but it may take a while to accelerate up to major changes. I am excited to say Michigan is going green. The change in how Michigan gets its energy will inevitably change the kind of jobs the state needs, something this bill package anticipates. It establishes an energy transition office to help with workforce development for people who become displaced by the transition. It, it doesn't take a whole lot of training to get up to speed. Um, and so you can see that labor force develop relatively rapidly. The biggest challenge, Bissette says, will be the siting part of the packages. That gives the power to approve major solar and wind projects to the Public Service Commission, taking the choice from local communities. I think if we would have left the permitting and the zoning in the uh, control of local municipalities at the county and township level, we would not get anywhere near where we want to go with regard to decarbonization. So though we would not have reached the state's goals. That's something he says could end up being harmful for Democrats in future elections as the rural communities impacted may be more inclined to go out and vote against the progressive policies. Energy providers will also need to get on board. By 2028, they must file a plan to get to that clean energy goal. In Detroit, Rachel Louise just.